Momentals. Thanks for watching another Moments by Booth video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Akeem Booth, real estate YouTuber and realtor. And today, we're going to be looking at my brand new listing, which is a one bedroom apartment located in Kingston 10. More specifically, Waterloo Avenue, going for an asking price of $130,000 negotiable. But enough of the chattings, I know you're ready for the video. When you're ready, run me intro. All right, so this is the apartment complex and of course hit the button gates open let's see on the inside you have cars that are parked in the parking lot you get one designated parking space i'm holding on the camera so nobody's vehicle and license plate is shown but then that main gate leads you to this entryway The key and you're getting all right and then we'll walk this car door to actually get to your apartment and this is a nice yard space i like it i like it so we'll come on down here and we're gonna go up Two flights of stairs to get to your unit. Ooh. And then your unit is up here. So this is your unit. It comes grilled, which is a very nice touch. Oh, I forgot to open the door. Bear with me, people. Bear with me. I got this. I think it's the red one. Voila. So, let me keep this door open. So this is your one bedroom apartment that one of my subscribers, of course, will be renting from me. I know that for a fact. So it's a fully open concept, one bedroom. Let me just walk down this side so you can see the reverse angle before taking a more detailed look into the kitchen space so you have lower cabinetry here and you also have upper cabinetry so you should be all right in terms of storage space for your pots pans plates so on and so forth with this being an apartment complex of course you know you have to be using you'll have to be using an electric stove all right you have a window right there And then that leads us to the living area. <clears throat> so this is your living area. You have a lighting fixture right there. So it's living and dining mixed in. So I would assume dining would be before the living space because this is where the plugs are situated. So I'm assuming your coach would be right here. Your television would be over here and then somewhere then the space is where you put the dining table. I guess it would be against that wall. All right. But you can use your imagination. So this tile, as you can see, has been raised up, but that will be fixed before you actually move into the space. You have an air conditioning unit, which is nice. You have one power outlet there another one there and you also have one for the air conditioning unit right there this is the window that shows you on the outside and even though it's not a view of much the trees that are out here what's that um aki and mango i do believe if you're quick enough when you go on the back and we'll see but if you're quick enough you can get some of those akis and some of those mangoes that will be falling off the tree all right so this is your closet space very nice size closet all right Let me back up so you can see it mm -hmm. so that's your closet you can fit a good amount of clothing inside here all right draw that up and then we'll check out <coughs> So this side is really a makeshift storage space, but you definitely can utilize it for storage. 
and then this is your water heater that is here so you do have the capability of getting hot water and this is the actual designated storage closet or linen closet whatever you may want to call it that's there um, I guess you can store like your broom and your mop and so on and so forth inside here which leads us to your bathroom so it's a single vanity you do get some space to store some items down below you have a lighting fixture there that, just, that one just needs another, another bulb towel rack mirror you have a window right here for ventilation you have your toilet you have your shower all right so that's what it looks like so let me show you the bedroom space one more time as a matter of fact let me walk the bedroom space because it seems as if it's a large bedroom so I wear a size 12 so it would be that would be two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen and a quarter long fourteen and a quarter long and then let's see well, we can do it right here. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost ten. So that's nine and three quarters, I would say, across. So you now can understand what your what type of space you're working with in this one bedroom and I think it's spacious for a one bedroom um, what next what next we need to go on the balcony my word let me hope this is the purple key if my memory serves me correctly let's see what I go on sure boy memory good you know come on boy memory good man boy memory good so this is your balcony And I can certainly imagine myself coming out here and relaxing. All I need is to just set up some chairs on the outside here. I don't even need a chairs. And I can see 20 salt from here. That's 20 salt over there. That's a really nice apartment complex. Um, so these are the Aki. Aki this is the Aki tree I was telling you about that, you know, within a few months time, within a few weeks time, those supposed to be opening up and falling are ready to pick so you know whoever fastest that lives here will get them and see a mango tree here with some mangoes on the ground and then i see a tank right here so i'm assuming that's some sort of water reserve for the grounds because that tank would certainly not facilitate everyone all right but i'll find that out for you so when you reach out i can tell you a hundred percent all right but yeah that's pretty much it for this particular apartment. I hope you guys enjoyed my tour. Comment down below and let me know what you think of this apartment. And if you're interested in renting it, as I mentioned, it's going for an asking price of $130,000. But anything that comes close to that, I'm pretty sure the property owner will accept. So if you even don't have $130,000, make me an offer and I'll submit it for you. And the property owner will decide whether she will be taking the offer or not all right but thanks again so much for watching don't forget that the goal is to live life on your own terms and that is what i'm out here doing each and every time i make one of these videos for you i thank you guys so much for always watching for always supporting leaving the positive comments reaching out to me on different social media platforms i appreciate it and i just want to let each and every one of you know that so many of you reach out to me it's very difficult to keep in communication with each and every one of you but i do try and i'm going to be trying even harder to assist as many of you as possible thank you guys 
so much for your support. I appreciate it a ton. AB signing out.